Hey Charles, these are two books that I think are a lot of fun. This one's old, but it's it's really good, and it has lots of lots of things about where to fish, and it's, it was kind of a how-to, but it has some knots in it. Um, but it's 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 just interesting reading. All right, you don't have to get that. The one you do need, or I would get, is this one: Practical Fishing Knots, and it'll show you how to do most things. And I. I, I, I've, I don't really need it anymore. If I think about most of these knots, I can figure out how to do it, but it did help the first, you know, when I was getting started to understand how they work. So you might consider getting that. Um, so the first one we're gonna do is a, it's called a perfection loop. Let me see if I zoom in here. So a perfection loop is this thing right here. And it's now most leaders come with this tied in the end. But if they don't, you need to tie this because you have a loop on the other one and you, you meet them with a handshake knot, right? So you'll pass the loop through your end of your fly line and then pass your fly line, push it through the loop and then feed your fly line all the way through. And then that's, that's the deal. So anyhow, you need a loop in the end. All right, I'll show you first how to do it with this. Uh, some terminology. This is the end or the bitter end, and then this is the standing line. So if there was a, a, a so if this went through my pocket knife, um, you'll see in the in the thing it's referred to as this is the the end or the bitter end, and then this side is the standing line. All right, and so what we're going to do is we you wouldn't tie a, you wouldn't start a perfection loop like that. Some of them you do uh, passing it through an eye. So what you're going to do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna make a backward bunny ear, like that, about that big. And they, again, you're just practicing. You need, more, you need more line than that. Backward bunny ear, and this time you're gonna do the same thing, except you go around the whole thing. And I'll try to leave that like that so you can see it. I'll do it again. So you do one, right? That's just a simple overhand knot. And then you're gonna go around again, but you're gonna go all the way over and you're gonna hold the whole thing like this and you're gonna drape this up here like that. Then you're gonna reach through and you're gonna grab this, this loop right here and pull it through the first loop that you made. And then you're gonna cinch it. And that makes a perfection loop. So if we were to take a piece of line, a uh, piece of fishing line here, monofilament. This is 60 pound mono, and we'll do it in this. So we'll do a backward bunny ear, um, and then we'll go around again. Let me start over in case, in case you didn't see that. So backward bunny ear, and you're going to go all the way around both of them again, and you kind of grab it with your finger there, and I'm going to pick it up and so you can see, you can see what it is. And then you're gonna take this standing line or this tag end, just lean it through like that, pinch it, and then grab, feed that one loop through like this. It might be better for me to look online and see if there's something online that, um, there, these videos have probably all been done by people much smarter than I. So now what you need is you just need to cinch it. and. Normally, when you cinch knots, you need they really need to be cinched, so you need to put them around something. Let me get my pliers out here. So these are El Cheapo pliers, but they work for me. And uh, the thing that I like about them is they have a, a loop here for holding hooks when you're tying knots. So you'll have the knot, you'll have the fishing lure in here, and it's hooked through there, so you can't, it's not gonna slip out and, and, and poke you. And then the other thing I like about it is you can wrap your thumb or your finger around this thing and clamp down and really pull and really pull hard to cinch a knot. So in this case, I would use it here like that. And then I would wrap this. You gotta be careful and you need to wear gloves if your hands aren't used to it. So imagine I were to cinch that really well. I didn't do it as hard as I really would for a fishing knot. I would have really paid attention to it and cinched it. You need to wear gloves if your hands are soft like mine are, or wrap them in a handkerchief or something so they don't cut you. I got a bad cut uh, right here from uh, cinching a, uh, a huff nagel knot. 
when I was in the Everglades. So anyhow, that's the perfection loop. That's it. I think it's actually a bowlin, but that's it. Let me see if I can cinch it a little bit better. Because when you cinch it, it, it should look really like a, it really should look like a, um, somehow that doesn't look quite right, but that's how you do it. Um, it's definitely how you do it. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah, so that's the deal. Um, again, you will probably want to get some, some fishing pliers. These are Dr. Slick. And like I said, they're super cheap. They're not, they're, they're 30 bucks or 40 bucks. And you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But um, the thing you don't want is you don't want them to have too aggressive teeth in here. Um, yeah, that's about it. And then you need um, a pair of nippers. These are salt water. They've got a little, they got a little file here and um, for sharpening a hook. And then this is a this is a, a tool for for tying what's called a nail knot, and I'll I'll show you that at some point. So that's the deal, and that's the first one. That's the perfection loop. Um, and yeah, that's it. And did I use it here? I guess I did. Yeah, I did it here too. So I made a perfection loop in this fly, and this is a this I was fishing for snook, and they're real toothy, and they'll then you can. This is all torn up. Um, and so this is what we call a bite guard because it protect it protects the it protects you from breaking off, um, and so it it's um, I'll, I'll explain that when we get to the tarpon leader thing, but this is a perfection loop here, so I could change it out really fast with my other um, with my other tackle on the you know it's in the boat, so that's the deal. All right.